everybody, hope you're having a good day. It's Monday, which means it's more casual flavor, and we are still on the sort of seriously. We have not, we're now on the final episode of Justice for All. Farewell, my turnabout. With that, let's just get into it because we just, like I said, we just finished the turnabout big top, so it's time for farewell, my turnabout. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for! Who will be this year's Grand Prix champion? Who will be our hero of heroes? I was going to say Grand Prix, but I ended up saying Grand Prix. Will it be last year's roll up, Gemma Ninja? Or maybe Captain Sampai from all the way to the lovely island of Sampai? I can see this to a certain star school run. And our global champion, Oh, yeah, but doesn't want to go home without the prize. We hope Lady Luck is with all our heroes tonight. And now, the winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes, Grand Prix. It's me! Whoa! The true hero of the night has appeared in the Ritz! It looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to this fantastic warrior! The Nickel Samurai! Too bad, Jeffin and John! Looks like it's had a little joke again this year! March 20th, 4.20... a.m. Gapewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Alright! Yes, did you hear that, Nick? Did you? The Nickel Samurai! He did! He did I. Yeah, you see that? <sighs> I'm going to for this. Ah, I'm proud of the guy for doing this here's justice. Um, so the person everyone was cheering for... I guess you got the prize! Yep! You know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai? Aw, oh, fair pearl. No, I feel so that I only watch the Edge Tucson channel. Kids, the Masterpiece Theater. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it. You like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Nah, Nick's a little fart. So he's not allowed to watch it anymore. Hey! Not cool. Not cool, Maya. That's right, but I do like Kids Masterpiece Theater. Hey, I didn't know you were so young a heart, Nick. Mr. So Nick! You're a grown up! You're not allowed to watch it anymore. Uh, double ouch. You're supposed to actually. It didn't have in just that much. It's very important. Oh yeah, right, because you get because it pulls. Right. Right. Oh, I got her S pearly. See you what, you're too brigade your money, ain't I? I'm not sure you got any more command drones from sun from yet last night. Three pre release for you. Swing Darn's actually thinking about doing the pretty spell. He bumps, he bumps the size of the first. We'll see how it goes. But at least I'll still say Ross and Ramon's still on the table. Looks like I made the right choice in inviting everyone here. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Aww. It's like a dream. Like I said, he's sizing up the idea of the deck. He's not. It's not in the plan right now. Okay, yeah. Wait, you pull the commander on? When do you got him to chase that arm? Too bad for the job in Ninja, though. Not sure, he lost to the Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Tokyo. I thought this might be his year. Yeah. Oh, hey, did anyone else think that the Jam and Ninja looked a bit different today? Oh, oh wait. Okay. 
different? What do you mean? Um, well, he wasn't carrying his bright back red guitar. Oh, okay. Hey, you're right. It's strange he walked around without a signature guitar. Uh, I will never understand these people on their shoes. Anyway, Mr. Parsh, thank you very much for today. Ah, oh, it's nothing. I owe you one. So it's just my way of saying thanks. Hey, Nick, come on! It's time to get going to the lobby! There's no time around the stage show that's supposed to start real soon. And then, I heard there's gonna be a press conference after that. A press conference? Is he gonna make a speech about winning this year's prize? Uh, well, not a snacky. Something about the Nickel Summer I confess him. Oh yeah, in case you're no more, no more of that circus. That's pretty serious. Ah, Nick, come on! You don't want us to be the last one, sir, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick, do you? Why me? It sure doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. We must! Ah, oh, I really owe you one. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what would have happened. What you did? It was a real tight spot I was in, and you fought so hard to get me away. I don't care what happens. I'll never forget everything you've done for me. So you're going to study to become a lawyer too? Am I right or am I right? Um... It must be real tough. There's all those trick... Sorry, there's all those thick books with hard words you have to read. Um, um, um well... Yeah, this person doesn't know the mass of spear me. I thought he'd be able to tell by my clothes. Maybe he thinks that you've got some strange hobbies on the side or something. Hey, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Jeremiah. You're my little sister. I'm sorry, but no. Oh? Then you must be Mr. Wright's little sister. Also, that's, that's a new thing. I've never seen the parts like that. At the end, I'm sorry, but... Then, whose little sister are you? I'm sorry, but I'm an only child. Oh, I see. Sorry. Well, looks so sad. Looks really sorry, too. Well, we could, but we talked a little bit little else. Thank you so much for inviting us today. Oh, it was nothing really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often. So I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers! What have you been up to lately? Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month, I've been on a kid's exercise show. I wore a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I... Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about all the headaches, not all the headache I caused you that time, Mr. Wright. Ah, well. It's done, son. Let's, so let's forget about it. This is Will Powers. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was a SEAL Samurai. And he was the first kid Mai worked on with me. It's too bad you look scary. Or people know you're real salty when you scoop at kids. Um, thanks. I can't believe they're gonna make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. I can't believe it either. But for, but for a different reason. Still Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch nemesis, the evil magistrate, in the city of New O Tokyo. Well, it's here. It's our new series, The Nickel Samurai. The series seems to be a hit with the kids, too. I'm really attached to the Seal Samurai's show. So I was hoping that maybe I'd get the chance to do something in this new one. 
Yeah, it's too bad. It'd have been awesome to see you, you with the new actor, Bat on guard. He's super popular right now. Uh, but Mr. On Guard? Is that probably doesn't know who he is? This year, it's gonna be the Nickel Samurai versus the Jabba Ninja at the box office. Jabba Ninja? Who said again? So who is this Jabba Ninja again? He's a hero! Duh! His symbol is the bright red guitar he's always carrying. I mean, he always carries around a bright red guitar. That's not even work. With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star? Yeah! A ninja who becomes a star! There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios Nickel Samurai and Worldwide Studios Jamma Ninja. They even are at the same time. You know what I heard? I heard those who, who don't j get along at all. Nickel Samurai is on guard and the guy who plays Jamma Nin Jam Ninja, I mean... Nickel Samurai speaks, speaks French. Oh! Me man on guard, the actor. I guess even the world of heroes is a sparkling happy place. A sparkling happy place. Yeah. Now, March twentieth, keep it keep it hotel hallway. Wow, what is with this place? Looks like I stumbled into alls or something. Way in the back. There's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit the while well, I can before the shoe starts. There are toys in each room in each room in this hotel. And since all sorts of events are held here, there are bathrooms for people who aren't staying here to use as well. Perfect for people like me who can't afford to stay here in the first place. Compared to the flowers on the other side of the hole, these are much more gorgeous. Let's see, record companies, bound clothes, company workers, family. Carrying all of these, all these flowers, so must be hard, I think. There's a piece of paper tipped to the door that says, June Corn Corita's room. You on court, yeah. This name sounds like a star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know about it. So I don't know anything about it at all. I can understand flowers in front of the dressing room. But what's a, what are stuff burrows doing here? Could it be that there's an action star with a soft spot for teddy bears? Nah, can't be. Mr. On Guard from the Global Studio Stuff. Studio stuff. Ah, it'd be nice if lawyers got flowers too. Something like the Mr. Right. From all your Griffo clans. There's a piece of paper taped to the room that says Mount on Guard Room. Mount on Guard. I've heard that name before. Oh yeah! Maya's always yammering about him like the obsessed fan she is. Oh, I don't think we'll get to do it today in this room, but damn I'll have if we need to go back. So it's like the post ceremony show is about to start. All right, I'm so pumped. I wonder if he's going to show off his special mood today. Nickel Samurai smelting. Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. You mean the big confession that Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So what is it? Do you know what it's about, Mr. Powers? Uh, well, I'm not the Steel Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. There's... Ah. Uh, sorry. Ah, so I guess you're all going to the press conference then? Yeah, of course! If that's the case, then here. Take these tickets so you can get in. 
First time checker, seems like the nickel samurai is to confess something after the post samurai would stitch you. Thank you very much. Well, let's get to the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Okay, for great justice! Why did the talks and stuff? If this is a dream, I don't ever want to wake up. And all the directors and stars that were here to see the heroes. Wow! I had no idea who most of them were. Neither did I. Nick, you gotta cut that news only. How about out? Your new show is gonna be the Nick of Samurai. Every Sunday morning at the end. But why no? We can watch it together starting next week. I'll come wake you up extra early to make sure, okay? Ah, uh, I'm fine. You know, you really don't have to on my account. This sure is one luxurious hotel. Almost to the point of guarding. With every with how it blends together, everything's fancy and much and all. Speaking of fancy, didn't that bad boy give me something like that last year? There's a grand set of doors over there. And behind those doors is an equally grand lobby. Shall we go and take a look, Mr. Nick? Hey, wait up! This grand dessert is calling to me. It's saying, eat me nine. The chandelier is really something, isn't it? I thought it was kind of a spaceship. A kind of a spaceship, sorry. Hey, Nick! How about we get one of those for the office? One of those hanging from our poor, weak ceiling? I don't think so. The war summary was just held on that stage. It was really fabulous. You just reminded me of the circus for a second. Well, shows like that are guaranteed to be good, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we- oh. What can I say? This is a really high-class hotel. I've never eaten this kind of salad before. Poor Pearls. I've been eating only vegetables all her life. She's been missing out. Don't worry, I ain't leftovers below in my happily awaited stomach anyway. You're such a glutton, Maya. Ah, uh, I lose this one to Maya. You sure can't eat. Well, a grown girl needs her nutrients. Grown girl? Exactly how big do you plan on getting? Yeah, I think we're done that. March 20th, group at hotel. Hop, hotel lobby. Hmm, only a really gaudy hotel would have such a large, gaudy lobby to match. Gaudy, sorry, got it. Ah, I think they're going to have the post ceremony show over there. They're using a compact stage, I see. Oh, I'm already used my special samurai power. I am looking like she's ready to start a fight. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai post ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. What? Why? Ow, you didn't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. Police? Did they just say the police? Do you want me to go, go check out what's going on? Um, wait, I'll come with you. Freeze! Gucci! Didn't you just hear the announcement just now? It's just finished telling you not to move. That voice! I've heard that voice somewhere before. Honestly, youth these days can't be bothered to listen to, to other people when they talk. Just the other day, oh my god, right, is this person. Look, I would, but no. This non-stop chatter. It, it 
can't be Miss Obag. What is it, you young whippersnappers? Do I know you? Wait, you! You have powers, aren't you? Yeah, um, I'll bet what happened back then. You didn't even get nominated this year, did you? Oh, that's right. You're doing that children's exercise program. Trying to play nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thankfully, I still have a job. I love that show! And you're hooked! You're a big better card, right? Oh my god, no! No! Um, what are you doing here? Look at my uniform and tell me you can't tell I'm a member of security. But that outfit... Annoying noisy brats, get the plaster! Um... She has a ti- she has a title. And she was in the first game. And caught Ezra completely off guard in every sense of the word. She's not annoying, she's... How do I put this? She's got a lot to say in a short amount of time. Besides, her mind's a real pros now. Pros? Pros is doing what? I do police work, of course. My eyes are like a hawk. Um, but on my profession, I spot a messy incident. A messy, bloody incident. That's why I don't have time for you meddling kids and your petty little things. Just wait till we get to the, co to the court. Uh, Miss Obag, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Oh, that old place? Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. Ah, nice. I'll probably need to rebuild my decks at some point. When they cut the security team, I got the pink slip. What incident? What did you do? I didn't do anything, you youngins. Don't you remember? That incident a year ago? When this lady got on the witness stand and testified? Yeah. And you! Weren't you the one who was bullying me? This fragile girl of heart! Um, I plead the fifth. But you know, I think maybe I rubbed rough the upper management the wrong way by testifying. Yes, this has to be it! Everything is all your fault! But me? I thought about being a bodyguard first, after being handed old Pinky. You a bodyguard? Oh wow. Oh yeah, right. Love for the sea go. For your friend, a fiery good looking guy with the red jacket and the ruffles. Mr. Edge. But that sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What did I ever do to this? What did I ever do to deserve that? Yes, I will do the ray gun impersonation every time she uses the ray gun. Oh, nice. Um, so, did something happen? I don't have all the details, but it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. Uh, an incident? Like a murder kind of incident? <laughs> Maybe, you'll see, you see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. Yeah, cause what, you got Hexablade, Brandamon, 
Plus, I'm gonna have a steeper get. Okay, you go, you have to go through. So, where I would go, showers of blood are sure to follow. But she didn't know that. Um, then she quit being a security guard. At least for other people, sick. Silence, Pepper Snapper! I won't. I won't. Hey, Nick! What is it? I don't like that devilish smile you're playing on your lips. Let's make like we're going to the bathroom and check things out. No way. The police told us not to go anywhere, remember? Huh? Hi, boring. You're such a boring guy. You've got no, no motivation, no spirit. Huh? What? What's going on? Are you giving Miss Maya trouble again, Mr. Nick? Not you too, Pearls. Please don't stick your little nose into this one. So listen to this, Pearly. This one time, a lawyer cop, Nick. Oh, okay, I get it. Let's go take a look. Yay! I knew you couldn't say no to me, Nick. That's right. We walked over miles of hot coal for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would be every time we work a kiss together. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already! You can come along too, Pearly! Pearly! I got to come! I got to come! Alright, March 20th. You gave out our tail, fail the hole. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the incident that the old lady would talk to, was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we better go look somewhere else. All right then, let's try. Excuse me. Arr. Are you by chance Miss Maya Fay? Um, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Korean Village. Korean Village. What's wrong, Miss Maya? Oh, nothing. You guys go on ahead, and I'll be right there, okay? Okay. Right this way, Miss Faye. Let's go look somewhere else, now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting! And a little scary! There are more places we can't go. March 20th, get what our tail, hallway. I TOLD YOU! I get people the info they want, which means that I've got the a right to know. Nope, don't care who you are, pal. We're some investigating, so you can't go in. What's your problem? Just you wait. It'll be all over the morning papers. Scruffy detective secret scandal revealed. You'll see. I'll get you back. Those who seem pretty serious. That southern accent can only mean... I totally messed up the accent for her, for this character. Hey, right! Hey, Lola! Come on! Do a gal fa a favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job and I've got rights! Ah, you! Ah, the type of gum shoe. Hey, pal! Pop a guy out! Tell her that only the police are allowed here! This is the scene of a murder! So she should lead this to us pros. Uh, a murder? Ah, oh, shoot. Me and my big mouth. See, I knew it. I got as things told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it says. And that's what it is. A genuine murder. Hey, wait. Yeehaw, murder. On a big star, no less. Oh, man, I'm in trouble now. I got it. Did you take a look at this for me? Listen, pal, I'm not looking at any info about the evidence to this time. If I do, my seller is really going to get it. And then I won't be able to, you know, to get those instant noodles down at the discount market. Poor guy. I was really shocked by what happened to her in that one case. I didn't know she had such an awesome power. 
Awesome power? I thought maybe I should do some self-improvement and take up a hobby. I went out and bought a morning glory seeds and planted them, pal. That's a good way to improve yourself. Oh, <laughs> well, it's nothing really. You know this person? We have a lot of per people as detective, pal as detective pal. So we make extra sure to not forget people because that's our job. Hi, having said that, I don't ever remember me seeing this person before. Which means that you're kind of forgetful, aren't you, Mr. Detective? That's not what it means. Not exactly anyway. Oh. I think we have a percent his. But I look good. I think I've lost some weight, pal. It's only wishful thinking. Wishful thinking, huh? In that case, I wishfully think I lost some weight. I wishfully think that he might face the facts one day. Lately, I've been on the instant noodle only, Dad, pal. How much has his side been stripped at this point? So, Detective Gunshu, a murder? Ah, oh, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Um, Mr. Nick? Is the dead person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Mystic Mai was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one under suspect of doing the bumping off. What? That guy... The guy that died was the hero named the Jamin Ninja, pal. The Jamin Ninja? Um, that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy. You mean Lala? That woman, she was there that time too, right? That time? When Mystic Maya did that channeling? Oh, that time. Well, Lala's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist? It looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah, hiding in wait in front of the Jammy Ninja's door, pal. Why was she? She wouldn't tell me, pal. She said something about getting a big scoop. Scoop? What sort of news could she be after? So the victim was the Jammy Ninja? Mr. Jammy Ninja? He was... Yeah, he was on a re really popular t rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh! The victim was the action star, Juan Cornet Corrida. He's got a huge push and wrote the expression of stardom. I mean, even I know who he is. Yeah, even I recognize his face. But I heard lately that Mount on guard spent taking the wind on, out of his seal. I'm telling you, pal, as far as there's popular, those here are hogging all the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all. Oh, huh. Poor guy. Mr. Angar, huh? That's the Nickel Samurai, right? Yep. I mean, no! You got to say it with more oof! The Nickel Samurai! Anyway, so now that you want Horita's gone, that means Mr. Angar has to who stitch himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't ban on it, pal. You can't have that happen, you know? Can't have that happen? What's that supposed to mean? I wonder. Alright. Maybe we summon the bar again. Now the rush consider done. Oh, I think we have to leave. Okay, I'm not I'm not a real fan of action suits or anything. But I know who Juan Core right at I'm on guard art. You can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time. So they have the real fiery rivalry with each other. Kinda like you and me, pal! I never knew he thought of me as a rival. Nickel Samurai. He really took the grand pricks tonight. Price 3! 
The Grand Prix tonight. My eyes a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry, Dan. Why are you sorry? My own guard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murdering Juan Corrida. What? Why is Mr. Sir and God arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another steel samurai hero is in hot water. Um, Mr. Nick? Is Missy- If Missy Grant knew about this... Yeah, I know. She made me take the kiss. I know. March 20th, Cape Water Hotel, Hotel Lobby. Hey! So what's going on, Mr. Wright? It looks like Juan Corrida has been killed. What? Juan is... He's... It looks like he was murdered. And the uh, suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Mal Ungar. You're joking, right? Nope. They arrested the Nickel Samurai on suspicion of murder in the Jamming Ninja. Oof. Not again. I feel sick. Again? About a year ago, something like this just happened. Sorry, something just like this happened, Pearls. I still can't believe. No way. No way, Mavwood. What's Mr. Parr's got in his hand? Oh, before I forget, this this is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the bell boy that came by earlier. It was transmitted originally from the bell boy. It can transmit and receive signals over great distances. For me? But why? I don't know. All he said that it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. It was almost right after you guys left. An old man who's a best boy at this hotel showed up. And that's when he told you to give this to me? Yeah! Why... Why could be this transceiver? Man is the most eccentric and active actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really steal his place as a top... as a pop idol, but... But... He keeps adding fuel to the fire of his rivalry with Juan anyway. Mr. Juan, he's a jammy ninja, right? Those two would butt heads over everything they could think of. But I said that Mag was the one who always came out on top. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. June said that he make that's why he'd take Matt on this time too. So he joined the rival TV show. And that was the Jammin' Ninja? The stylish Nickel Samurai and the Burning Jammin' Ninja. Well, things started mess see real fast with those two using their shoes for their four. And the final tally? Look around. It's pretty obvious how things ended up. Not even won the Grand Prix this year. Final win over his rival, I guess. Mr. Garb was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though, if you want him to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's confession. It's like conference art. The Nickel Samurai's? Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and get the press conference that way. He was going to be in costume? But why? I'm not sure, but they keep me out. Sorry, they don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. Now that you men she mentioned it, Maya was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost. I'll take a quick look around for her. Beep, 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 beep. What is it, Mr. Nick? Huh? Uh, I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. Yes, hello. Right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Fright, the attorney? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have the... You, sorry, I think you have other things to be consider concerning yourself with. Such as... Help! Nick! M Mystic Maya? 
Maya? So, Mr. Wright, would you agree that the more important issue is the fate of, this, of the girl? The fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Maya! Where are you? Are you hurt? I'm not. Don't fall apart of me yet. This... No! This can't be! Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return to you your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Yet not being for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. Ah! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! My sights. Everything's speeding away. Maya. Maya! Maya's been kidnapped! Dar, Mr. Attorney? Are you there? How much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and set your conditions! And then return my uh, Money is not what I seek. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to need... I am not the person you will be representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. One Corrida right, was killed, and the suspect is Matt on guard. You are, as suspected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to attain a complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Matt on guard? But why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However... However... However what? However... Someone is framing him for murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. I agree to do what he wants. And I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain. You are, of course, at liberty to take me me at my word or not. However, there is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your precious, your very precious item is with me in my possession. Help! Nick! Maya! You have two days. Of course, tonight, you will be in questioning with the police. Trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you have you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Attorney. One you expect me to get a not guilty in in one trial day? Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you. So don't let me down. Oh, yes, that's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say, and don't even think about calling the cops. Hmm. Not great, but you get the idea. Damn it! Hey! Who the hell are you? Very well, I'll tell you that much. My name is... They kill her. Mr. Nick! Where's Miss- Where's Miss Maya? She's been kidnapped. No! It's all my fault! If only I go with Mystic Maya! It's not your fault, Pearls. But it is! It is! Mystic Maya! Uh. Mr. Wright, I think we- I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If you do, 
who knows what will happen to Maya. Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe. Yes, that's it. Wait here, and I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. What? Ransom? Shh, not so loud. But Ransom is complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Wait, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya? You mean... And this means Mountain Guard is obviously the killer, pal! No doubt about it! But the guy said that Mountain Guard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. If Mountain Guard really is innocent, then why the kidnapping? On the top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensic team's having a field day back there. Um... But it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence? Is that possible? Actually, didn't the commander say about Mount about Angar being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Uh, Alright. Isn't there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're right. Bit unknown, time unknown, location unknown. Yeah. Ow, my head. Where, where am I? I wonder if I'm still in, the, in that hotel. Yeah. What happened to me? Nick, Hurley. Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. I see you have awoken. Ah! Oh, who are you? Me? I am known as the killer. The, the killer? You mean like an assassin? I I'm too young to die. Or oh, I did a little, a little delay. Don't worry. You are not my target. For now, anyway. Ah! Nick, Nick! Nick! Where are you? Help me! Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now. And that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Huh? What? Nick? Nick's gonna save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. Transaction. A business transaction? I'm going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your assigned role well. Nick? What's going to happen to me? Nick? Really? Sis? I think I remember. Turn about goodbye by was a big thing because you went against my friend Karma. Rice Ash is elevated up for Demon Grant. We've just now elevated to just kidnap Dean for Ransom and a whole bunch of other stuff. Is this Mr. Finch right, the attorney? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as... March 21st, 8.11 a.m., right in cool office. Good morning! Ah, good morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, come on, let's hurry and go see Man on Guard. You have to wait a bit, Pearls. Disney R doesn't start don't start till 9 a.m. So, oh, I see. Ah, Mr. Maya, if only, if only I had gone with you. Oh, Pearls, she's been like this since last night. You might to get home somehow. 
Yesterday evening, I had to detect the gum she gently holding her by the hand and leaning her hair. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl's got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick! Mr. Kamaya! She's alright, right? Yeah, she's alright. Either way, I'm going to save her. You can trust me or not. Please, please, help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected. Because Pearls is doing the crying for the both of us. Oh, we actually can't examine anything here. Um, I had a thought. I have a thought. Huh? You're going to represent Mr. On Guard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what if... What if he is the real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? Would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to see if Mr. Kamaya? Or else... Let's talk to Mr. On Guard first, okay? We can think, think all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I I can't stop thinking about it. Pearls, you're really worried about Maya, aren't you? Hey, I don't have anyone else left in this world. What do you mean? My family's all gone. My family? My father? He left my mother on the village behind and went away. I'm sorry. And my mother? She did that thing. All for me. Mystic Maya. She's like a sister to me. She is all I have left in this world. Well, I guess we'll just go see Mr. On Guard. March 21st. 8.57 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. We couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here earlier. The visit one Nickel Samurai charged with the murder of the Jammy Ninja. Good morning. How are you today? I know this situation might be a little tough for you. Um... We're... Oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. Excuse me? I already have license insurance. I signed up a lot of time ago because my job is... You know. Oh, no, no, no. We're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Fire signatures? I mean... This building is my house, so... No, no, no. We're not here to sell you fire signatures either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? Hold on a second. I'm going to ask my manager, okay? The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer, dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Mr. Nick, this is our chance! I have to make him let me take his kiss. I have to. Well. Mr. Oh. Guard, this is an attorney's badge. Dude, I'm sorry. I don't have the free time to be, be looking at things like that. Huh? I'm much too busy with the nickel, with nickel summary stuff right now. I don't have the time to take a lawyer's corresponding course. Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance? Dan Singers? My this? Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Um, that's okay, but dude, my, my autobiography is coming out soon, so... Say stuff about the publisher's approval, and go to be in real hot water! Hold on a sec, I'm going to ask my publisher, okay? 
This one guy is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Um, I don't know if he's actually... He actually has anyone he can really talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I did say anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? Sir Guard, I'd like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid on a society job, dude? Um, um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask for my staff. No, 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 I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Hold on a sec. I'm going to ask the president of the studio, okay? Is he alright, Mr. Nick? If I'm talking about Mr. Garch's friend here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president says, My controller is near dead. Hey, even Neo by Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, Mr. Nick? What's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain in the city of Neo Tokyo, the city the Nickel Samurai protects. Uh. Mr. Nick! What are you going to do with Dan? I don't know yet, but I figure I can at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one too! I got it as a present from someone. Hmm, interesting. I've also been instructed to take your kiss. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude, that's terrible! Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. Can I be... Can I... Can I feel insulted for him now? Excited speaking, I am a disembodied voice so looking at in this live stream. Can I? I don't know. This coming from a mom with a cell phone on his wrist. What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. Yeah. You were going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes, while well, you were in costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. He didn't know? That's odd. Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. Please wait! I really need to take your kiss. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Open the energy to a few. Yeah, but he can, Josh has his Josh has his moments. Please, please let him, let Mr. Nick represent you. Man, oh man, lawyers these days. Now you do use kids to pull in clients too. If you don't take my as your lawyer, then the killer is going to. Wait, what did you just say? The killer. The killer? What's he doing? It looks like he's mulling something over. Alright, dude. I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Um, yeah. I don't feel any better for it. I mean, he doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help as much as I can. Yeah, it's a thing. Man, I think my lucky stars that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero. And you're in the national spotlight. I don't... I didn't know who he is. I guess that means I'm not a good citizen. Poor Pearls. Ah, it's really good, good to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately, I keep, I just keep getting more and more popular. True enough, Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. Wow, that's... <laughs> oh, 
I mean, yeah, just chop in and enjoy the ride. I guess my certain guard has a way of catching the eyes of women. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. Oh, sorry, we have to go through an entire circuit just to get to this one. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even though I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. Okay. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got my reward, I took a break and went back to my room. I had a, a post samurai stage show to do. So I was in my nickel samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time? My mind was running around being busy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, because you called you were right before the acro uh stuff. Yeah. My manager was running around being busy, yeah. So busy, yeah, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show. I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, when I was sleeping in my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Coretta was already dead at the time. Yeah, that's what I'm got. I got her from. My, anyway, from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me and then, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Correa. What sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with, this, with that face of his, I can't even tell he's the same age as me. And I wanted to try to make a ne German Ninja movie, even though we all know it failed. Nickel Samurai still won the, in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude! They could be the other way around, you know. Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jamming Ninja's costume. A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the place of my samurai pants or hakama or hakama. Dude, I really think someone's plot on the third, though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess this is all... This is about all I'm going to get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. Guard to see if he really is innocent or not. We can, we can do that? Yes. If you use this, I ask Makatama. He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Koraida? Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. All right, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that's including Juan Corrida, okay? Well, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chin or lock in sight. Which means, it's all right to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my clan is innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. That's only part one, by the way. We have, to, we have not done the actual investigation.
March 21st, 11.24 a.m., Bright and Cool Law Office. Well, at least we were able to get Mr. Guard as our client. Ah, um, we knew that he didn't do it. Yep, that was only part one. For clarification, just for anyone's... It's... This is going to be a fair... A part of this way, because we do like end of two parts per stream, I'm pretty sure we'll have this finished next Monday. <laughs> and we don't know, and we know we didn't do it, which is very important. So, so now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. Guard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, then let's start looking. Oh, I wa I'll water it. Ah, it's okay. I already did that. The watering can. Where are you, Mr. Watering Can? Girls get too wound up if she's not doing something to distract herself. I hope Charlie can withstand Typhoon Pearls. There's a giant building outside the just outside the window. It's the Gibwater Hotel, a high-class luxurious hotel. Actually, the crime happened at the recent completed hotel in the center of the town. The Gibwater Imperial Hotel. Just how far are they going to expand their empire? This is the Dick of Samurai, right? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Nick! Please take care of Mr. Maya and be her nickel summary, all right? My desk. Because I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. Oh! I cleaned the, the up some more for you last night. Because I couldn't sleep. If you're good looking legal folks from standing in the familiar role, they mock me! Oh! Do you need to look. Stuffing up in one of those law books, Mr. Nick? Which book is it? Which book do you need? Um, I can't read those hard books, and, um, I can't read them either. It's okay, Pearls. Really. The legal books claim another victim. Since there were no Cyclops, that means we can trust Mr. Guard to be innocent. I really feel much better knowing that. Ever since last night, I was so worried that I kept wondering. What if he... he is the real killer? What then? Hey, I have something I want to ask you, Pearls. Okay, what is it? Why are you so interested in how Maya and I get along? I mean, she and I don't have anything special go- Huh? What do you mean? But I thought... I thought you and Mystic Maya were... I've been mistaken all this time? No way! Art, She really wasn't kidding! I was actually believe me and my... No, Art. Maybe I should've just left it alone. Mr. Nick! Stop it! Don't hide your true feelings from me! Ow! She slapped me! Hey, that's a lawyer's sacred treasure, isn't it? I guess. I feel like it has a mysterious power, just like that Makatama. Hmm, well, I guess I can let her think what she wants on this one. Oh. Okay. I wonder if you're alright. I'm sure she was gay. You have to be patient for just one more day. I'm sure we can save her, trust me. If there's anything I can do, please tell me, okay? Alright, let's go back. March 21st, give it our hotel. Give it our hotel. Yeah, hotel lobby. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without. Good morning. Hold on, it's you! What is going on around here? Um, um. I heard Portugal was killed. Is that true? It's a bad rerun of what this is. Another still samurai doing the most evil of deeds. Um, you know, that's not entirely. 
I have you know that I'm a huge fan of your ones. Why, oh why, do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one like flies? So let's put it away. Uh, oh, god damn it. I should have realized. Oh my. Um, actually, I want to ask you about the murder and what happened. <laughs> Don't push me, boy! Uh, Mr. Nick? I, um, I couldn't hear everything she says because she was talking too fast. Miss Obai, can you please speak a little slower? You're getting the name, Addy. Don't boss me around, you spiky hair, smarty pants! My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently I did finally find a star that makes my this heart go but um again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um I watch your words! No one's gonna get away! Wait, we're saying anything bad about my Yuan. But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? A woman? That irritating backwater girl with the alfro and the horrible country accent! Alright, this will be the actual first time they would have met. I mean, what is the manner of speaking supposed to be? Of why does she. I'm sorry, why does she ever. Why does she never stop? Honestly, from these days. You know the meaning of the word bonus. Oh my god, no! Pearls? Are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay. I'll go get you juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey! Are you paying attention? Youngins today. So I'm guessing Miss Ubai heard everything from Lala. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Uh, I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Cue mysterious music for, ma for the magical press conference. I don't have one, sadly. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Ah, I see. But... But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. The, the most important moment? You don't mean... Oh, so now you should be respect, you disrespectful child. When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really? Kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder isn't? Please don't spray on that. Spray into onto another tangent, please. If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. Yep, that is. Right, but at some point I'm going to perform the magic for anyone who's not aware. I'm going to perform a magic. I will make all four of those locks disappear at once. March 21st, get with our tail, feel the hole. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigation on our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll up in the sleeves and try, I guess. March 21st, keep at our hotel hallway. Hey, you there! You're here! Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer! Lala! Hey! Mr. Catfella! The thief showed his fist! W what? Arrest him! Put him on trial! Find him guilty! Give him the death penalty! What's wrong, Lala? Are you feeling alright? 
Look here and there, and up and down the mountain, but ain't here. So why don't you hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Uh, what are you looking for? My camera! Camera! It's my lifeblood! I'm gonna die over my $700 camera! Your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the camera always goes back to the scene of the crime? And looky looky, here you are! Yep, here I am. This with a lot of trouble. Huh? So you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy it in a store and it's $1,600 brand new. <laughs> yeah. Huh? But didn't you say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I mean, this itty bitty scratch on it, and the manager got all hopped up in the face. And uh, he gave me his top. And too, I was real mean about it, though, too. He done me, me a cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking for into things. That's my low side of my da dear, starling, expensive sweetie. But, uh, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't rightly know. I snapped the shot at anything that caught me eye. So I don't remember. Besides, I couldn't get anything from a big scoop. I wonder if Lala's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Lala's camera, fire spent the camera valued at $1,600. It was only around the time of the murder. Lala, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here and there, this area. Yeah, actually, I was here around... Sorry, I was here until around the time Mr. Ungar was arrested. What about... What were you doing here? Are you sure you went to school, city boy? Whatever lot our heart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop? I told you before, I'm going to be the best tabloid photographer... Photographer the world's ever seen. Reckon, of course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also so on the lookout for the other stars that were here. So, my man wasn't here the entire time. Lada, uh, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you were hanging around with? Sorry, hey, hang right here. And, oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that. Straight secret, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? You can stop, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer! I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lala and your eye roll smile. Oh, we got two rooms to explore now. March 21st, get what our hotel on guard's hotel room. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Mangard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Um, uh, um, we're... You're Mr. Mangard's lawyers, correct? I've got it as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow! It's a simple deduction, really. The trial's tomorrow, and Mr. Ungard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here 
One stop in your mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian... Yeah. Adrian Andrews. I hit the best time, so let's get down to business. Uh, all right. She may be of small stature, but appearances can't be deceiving. Um, all right. I'm let me ask you about this. I told you, I hit traveling miles. It's a waste of time to show me things that are no relevance to me. Wow, this is the first time I've been shipped down this badly. Hey, you were the one taking care of the erasers for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. Guard said he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was a request from the public publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. This. Oh. I asked to become a certain guard manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his nice deposition. Hmm, Mr. Guard does seem like a, a rather weak willed man, always doing what as he's told. He's always saying my manager, right, Mr. Nick? Did you know to pick them, Mr. Koraya? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. If either one of them wasn't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's laying on. She must know why Joran Korida was killed. That's the salmon here. There's some samurai looking close on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket looking thing is called a hape. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. I would be absolutely thrilled. It's probably Mr. Angar's suitcase. For someone who was only going to be here for the award show, that's a, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days for her clothes here. Stars really are difficult, different from us, aren't they? There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Oh, wait, I got that again? Oh. What the dishes left over for dinner? Dinner. A dinner for two, Dad. I'm sure they are Mr. Engars and Miss Andrew's plates. Looks like they had table and stick. What's the global series in table and sticks? Yeah, this is almost repeating as last time. Dad, that's the bedroom over there. That's a bed. Wow, they have really big beds here. Yeah. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Yes, that's, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. On Guard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you look at the tip yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. When the award show was starting, I headed to Fiola Halls. Oh, and after the show ended, you came back to this room. No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, 
preparations for the post samurai show, I guess. When it was time to, for the post samurai show, I came back to call from Mr. Ungar. After that, I went to visit Mr. Korida. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really held strong for everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as snails. Um, so, about you on... Stop right there. You aren't serious about asking how I must guard and I are related, are you? Sorry? I have no interest how he, he chose you as his lawyer. Why did she have to go and say something like that? So Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress here, alright? I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ungard's manager. His manager? Speaking of managers, did the victim and Mr. Korida have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very different policy from one of the Worldwide Studios and not. Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving your yourself uh, to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to a place like this? Honestly. You're wrong! I- I'm doing this to help Miss Maya. Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you juice leader, alright? Do you have any ideas as to- as to why Mr. Corrado was murdered? Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? Why? Mr. An Miss Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a psych lock, Mr. Nick? Yeah. They're getting to be more and more in these lately. Well, we can't do anything here. March 21st, Gear with our tail, Corellius Room. So Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Joan Corellius Room, Pearls. Is it Corrida? The victim. Which makes this the crime scene too. Oh, it's you! So, what happened? The kid Never. Has he contacted you again? Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. Guard's acquittal. Uh, you doing okay, pal? Hanging in there? I just want Maya to be alright. We don't have a lot of time left! But I'm gonna help you as much as I can, pal! Can you do that? Even if we want to look around the crime scene? Just this once. Special, special circumstances, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know. You gotta keep quiet. It's my neck line here. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go, little missy. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel too big for us for some good. Mr. Nick, I got a map. That's great, Pearls. Um... But Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Hotel map. It's not. It's map of hotel, so. Ah, oh, that's. Okay. Move it. Oh, okay. It's with Pal. We have a lot of time. Why is you. It's important. If Mr. Karma saw me here like this. I have to switch sides real fast. That's your present from the kidnapper, huh? While you're talking, it sends a re receives through your waves. You trust that? Yeah, we could use it to find out where the bad guy is. You use radio waves, huh? I got it. I'll go find a radio scanner and let you borrow it, pal. Do it. This, um. There's not as much I can tell you about this power. Okay, yeah. The 
I'm sorry. For what? I really want to help you look for a pal. Mr. Detective? If anything happens, let me know, okay? I want to help in any way I can! She's Mr. Guard's manager, right? No matter what I do, I really stink at talking with people like her. As soon as I open my mouth, I get all flustered. See, she's one of those women with a brain. She's someone who gets things done. Yeah, she does get that sort of impression. I just got it all together. Compared to her, you can easily tell, you know, I'm a can't-do-anything-right kind of guy. That's why I get all nervous and start messing up. I feel sort of bad for him. I thought she was an alien from inner space! Yeah, probably because she's wearing that strange helmet. Nah, even for how it off, I thought she was an alien, pal. I think that's probably best kept yourself, if you know what I mean. Hey, why do you let bygones be gygones, pal? Look, this guy is guilty. A buck says so. One dollar. You sure you're not talking about Pearl's Alliance money? I can't buy any more than that. My salary, it's... It doesn't matter what we think. I still have to defend us on guard and quarter else. Mr. Nick? I'm not a real fan of that. Oh, I think we did this. Yeah, okay, so that's all the same. Do you know what was the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but... One look at the victim should tell you, pal. It should? Yeah, here's a picture. There's a knife in his chest. Yeah. Matt, pal, that's the murder weapon. So he was stopped to death. They're looking at the fingerprints down in the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yep. Uh, looks like they're pretty sure they're Matt Ungar's prints, pal. That's bad. Real bad. It's time for though. Why was Mr. Ungar arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Evidence? It looks like the victim, Juan Corrida, really put up a big fight. Yeah, one look at the crime scene, you can tell. There are signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight, it's button came off. Mr. Guard says something about a button. Something like. One of the Jaman Ninja's buttons got caught in his Hakama. But that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. A witness? Who is it? That lady, Miss Obag. Please. Anyone but her. The prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid kiss. Not to mention there's something in Brian work. Her the fact was that... Eh. What the fuck was that? Uh, well, that's a little off. Eh. Something that's a little off? As in... As in... That's for you to figure out, pal! Alright! Let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick! Wow! There's a lot of bears! Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddies, plastic models... It's pretty overwhelming! Is there a kind of bird he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. Yeah. I get the feeling maybe the guy doesn't really like birds. Bird teddies. It's hard to bear with all these problems. Ah, 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 ah. We don't count this one, alright? I don't think I want to bear with the trauma the last kiss cost me. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Hmm, it's so messy here. Pearl's really likes things neat and tiny, I take it. There's a lot of electronic things in here that I've never seen before. Hey, Mr. Nick, tell me what they are, pretty please. Okay. That over there is a watch. 
No, okay, that's the only time, okay? It's the only time we'll see it. It's the only time we'll see Mo, and even at that, that's just more of a flashback. Never heard of the watch, you wear it on your wrist. I know what a watch is. Oops, for a second there, I forgot I was talking with pearls, not Maya. A fridge! There are all sorts of things in this refrigerator. The cartridge spell and the technology spell are both empty. Empty? It's too much a hassle to throw them away, I guess. They're all vegetable juice. I guess he must be a real health nut. Oh! There's a beet! Some ketchup and a ball of strawberry jam too! Maybe red was his favorite color. It's a suitcase! There's so many things in here, I bet it's very close. There's his clothes, a dryer, an electric shaver, a calculator. This all stars pack too much stuff like Mr. Corrida? It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. You know, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. There's a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. But doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. She's right. The flower face was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's alright? The glass, right next to the victim, it's filled with tomato juice, no signs, it's been drank. Bottles of cosmetics that are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Corrida falls the sealant. What are these bits of glass from? A flower face, maybe. There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know where they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? This is... Catarchus! I guess, a little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is not here. Maybe you forgot to bring it to the show. The Mystic Maya, she said the bright brick guitar was the Jami Ninja's signature item. That's true. Huh? The guitar case is wet. But it's only wet on the top of the lid. Yeah, there's still water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? Guitar case, right next to the fic- Um, empty, but there are some water, but only on top of the lid. It looks like Mr. Correa had dinner last night. This bottle is tomato juice! We had a lot of food at the awards last night. And I wonder if the stars had gone on stage after only eating a meat meal like this. So that's a bed, right? Yep, it's big, but it's a bed. Ah, Mr. Nick, it's so soft. Big beds must be a rarity for her. I think we need to present what we found the gum tree. So about this wine glass. Ah, so you know it's the pal. The whole crime scene was mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? You no, know, actually Miss Von Karma noticed the first. Yeah, Pearls noticed it before me too. Hey, wait a minute! So, does that mean Miss Von Karma is here at the hotel? Yeah, she's around here. Man, you're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. Especially if she catches you in here. Well, if you can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running in the thousand meter dash. Best start running right. What's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm. I've heard the sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me! Come to think of it, 
That's exactly what happened last time. Sorry. Oh, I gotta make myself scarce. Later, pal. Ouch! At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oops. Would it be too much to ask you to be nice for to me for a change? So you're the type to steal information from pitiful, hopeless detectives. That's very dishonored of you. Or all of you. Ow. Hey, don't you dare run away. Scrubbing my trench coat. Uh. I didn't think the detective of this country, the detectives of this country could be this pitiful. Uh, detective, come over here for a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel better knowing at least you were mad enough to face your punishment. He was so scared. He just froze up on the spot. Was the finish right? You. You have soiled my perfect prosecution record. I'll never forgive that. Forget that. This time, victory is mine. Yeah. How about that? Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? What? <laughs> Come, Scruffy. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. Ow. What did she throw me nigh? What is this? Well, I guess this means I gotta get back to the pinnacle now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the criminal affairs department, alright? And if you can, try not to let Miss Karma see you. So, I think I have everything I need to do the magic trick. March 21st, Gabriel Artel, Viola Hall. Oh, Mr. Wright! Hi, are you? Ah, Mr. Pars. Have you been here the entire time? Yeah, people connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. Oops. Can you tell me a little more about the Neko Samurai TV show? Okay. The Neko Samurai is an action hero program aimed towards kids. It's the sequel to the Steel Samurai. I see. This time, there are three Samurai brothers. Aluminium Samurai, Tin Samurai, and of course, the Nickel Samurai. It's a loaf Y in Neo Tokyo. I see. Wait! A loaf what? A loaf Y? This girl, Sayu, works at the tea shop and all three guys fall for it at the same time. Oh, I guess Y ship is like the three brothers colliding over what this one girl. Anyway, Sai was actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Clan's leader. Sounds like an unusual situation. Like Romeo and Juliet. Times free. Yeah. Seems like the strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big with the office ladies. Um. Yes, Pearl? What? What happens next? I want to know! Miss Sayo. Does Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. I'm going to stop watching Kids Masterpiece Theater starting this week. I can't believe she's really considering it. So, what's the Jammin' Ninja TV show like? It, start, sorry, it started from a remake of an old movie, to tell you the truth. The Jammin' Ninja, like the Samurai show, is geared towards kids. It's the story of a ninja who can't scale a wall, but became a big pop star anyway. Um, what? He was a really licensed ninja. Absolutely couldn't do any ninja things right at all. But boy, could he sing. 
With his trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. A, a ninja? With a bright red guitar? And then, the final fight in front of his beloved princess, Masola. Shaman versus the, the, Mur the Muromachi 5. Suddenly, our brave hero catches not a not so jamming cold the night before at Balfrey. Aww, that's too bad for him. Yeah. This is kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. Um, yes, pearls? What happens next? I want to know! Jamin, the Jamin Ninja! Will he be able to sing? What about Princess M Masola? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. Um, which show should I watch? Hmm. I can't believe she's really considering it. Again! Let me get something? Oh, they call this. Press comments? Yeah. He said there's something I have to confess if I win. I heard he, fa he faxed his request for the conference into the office only yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, that's kind of sudden. I guess his manager sat everything up somehow, so he was lucky. Hmm, nice manager. Oh, did I not pick it up? I didn't pick it up. Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? The paper's got Mr. Horaya's name on, written all of it. So it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Ah, it's a special way of writing called cult poser. Cursor. Look here, see how it says, to my dearest Wendy. In more normal letters here? This sloppy, unreadable writing? It's crazy and cruel to give this to someone! Hold on. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. Run who his autograph to my dearest Wendy, it's written on it. Shoot, I forgot to pick it up before we did. Alright. Now we can do it. Take that! We have the means. What you witnessed. Alright, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please, tell me what you saw. But oh, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun with you youngins' expenses. Expense. I am a little devil after all. Um, does that imply you aren't a good person? Alright, I'll give you what you want. Take that! This! That's... That's Juan's autograph! Yeah, I probably should mention her full name for anyone who's in the war. Wendy Obags. Yes, it is. And it even says, to my dearest Wendy on it. That's me, right? Right? Um, my name's Wendy, it's Wendy O'Bikes. So that Wendy has to meet me, right? Well, it may say Wendy. Somehow, I don't think this, I think John had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Oh, please, give it to me. Let me have it, please. Um, um, I can't let you have it. Just like that. Yes, yes, I know! Then how about an exchange? Wow! She must really want this autograph. My orders are gonna be fine, Mr. Wright! You win! When the old bag's ready to open up her heart! All for my dearest Shuan! Yep! It's not easy! Then how to do all four individually, it's... Yep. She has a thing for action stars, remember. Autograph given to Wendy Dearest. 
I feel bad for you now. Huh? I tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Yuan's room. You're kidding! Oh no! It was about 10 minutes before Yuan's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And did you tell that to the police? Well, of course! I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it. Maybe more. Gift certificate? I've been recruited to the game for the part of the trial, you, you know, the trial tomorrow. Right. This time, you're gonna get it! I'm going to work hard to get your client pronounced guilty! Mr. Guard has to do anything bad! I don't care about details like that! I know he did my poor... My dear poor Yuan win! I just do! That yellow belly chicken! A yellow belly chicken? I wonder what that would look like. I trust my senses! I know when someone did something bad! And I say he did it! What did Mr. Guard ever do to her to deserve this? What did Mr. Guard do to you to make you so... You don't know? That guy! He fit my Yuan! He created that scandal that plagued poor Yuan! Mr. Nick! What is it? What's a scandal? Oh, um... I'll tell you about it after we get home, okay? Poor Yuan! Let us try by the will... And the wills of the file temptress. Mr. Nick, what's what does file and fail temptress mean? Oh, temptress, that was right. I got it wrong the first time. Arg! Um, how about we just listen to what Mrs. Obike has to say for now? Okay, girls. So, Mrs. Obike, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews. Who else? Of course. Who else? That guy. He shut the girl onto Juan on purpose! His own manager? But why? I thought lawyers were smart! It was a great scandal to make Juan lose face! That girl took Juan went into a scandal that dragged his reputation for the mud! Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. Why do you know about that anyway, Mrs. Obag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans! I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. And do you have proof that Mr. Ungar did what you said he did? Next week's issue of a certain magazine says so. Ah, uh, of course. A tabloid. Next week. Does that mean it's something people don't know about yet? Why would Mrs. Obike have information like that? And where did she get it? <laughs> oh, I don't think we can do any more of her. I said that the criminals are first of Harpin. March 21st, police station. Criminal of first of Hmm, it does look like Mr. Scruffy Detective is here. Great. I even Pearls is calling him Scruffy. Thanks, Francesca. They say he's something about an investigation briefing earlier, right? Why, why don't we come back? And try again later when they're done. Okay, I guess that's all we can do, right, Mr. Nick? I f all right. A guitar kiss, that was Yuan's. I guess you've seen that kiss before. It's pretty famous by now. It's not so because. It holds the bright red guitar. The bright red guitar? That's the Jammy Ninja's, the Jammy Ninja's signature item. So if the guitar is so important, how can you forget it for the award ceremony? That does seem a little strange. Oh. I'm gonna try something. Have a side clock. Two, actually.
Ik skip. Oh. Hey, Lala, would you please answer my question? On the night of the murder, why were you lottering around in the victim's room? Oh, damn. I told you, didn't I? From a scoop? What I want to know about are details about the scoop. Okay. That, that's not something I can tell you. I mean, there's that thing that there's my bread and butter. Alright then, I'm pleasant tabloid for, for looking for a scoop. I'm going to uh, say that you were looking into a scandal. Should it be that you, Lala Hart, were looking for a break of his story? It's kind of between. Don't know, we can't do anything yet. If you forgot something. Look at this. Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's my manager. Or he might he knows where. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Just a little. Hmm, so Mr. Pars likes this type of woman. What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, you see, here's the thing. I don't really know her. Her. Sorry, know her, you know. There's some sort of... S yeah, there's sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. A rumor? Ah! If you're interested, I'll be glad to share what I know. He's so happy. He looks like a lion that just found his next meal. Would you mind telling me about this gospel? Gospel? Ah, so you are interested in it. I figured you would be. Yeah. I have such a weakness for celebrity gossip too. Okay. Oh, oh really? You too, huh? Yeah, so take a look at this. It looks like a tabloid. This old bike group read. Alright, let's see here. Shaman Midnight Rendezvous. Alright. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. You see now, don't you? What? You can't stop pretending to be in the dark, Mr. Wright. Ron Court Ryan didn't have a manager of his own. Which means, if we're talking about a certain manager with the initials AA, Adrian Andrews. Yes, exactly. This is big news. But it seems kind of old. That woman, Miss Andrews, together with the biggest rival of her clan. Ah, it's that wonderful thing that can only happen between two people. Mr. Powers looks so happy! Charles is just following along, not having any idea as to why he's smiling. Well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. There we go, we got the magazine clipping from our little tabloid gospel line. Now we can leave. Alright. And a lot of answer the question. Night of murder, you were why were you loitering around the victim's room? I told you to deny for my scoop. What I want to know about are the details of the scoop. That's not something I can tell you. I mean that does prevent butter. Alright, then an unpleasant tabloid photographer looking for a scoop. I'm going to say that you were looking into a scandal. Or could it be that you, Lala Hart, were looking for a break with a new story? Perhaps an unfolding scandal between Joanne Cordor and this person? Take that! This woman! 
She's Adrian Andrews, Matt per on guard's manager. Hmm. The Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jama Ninja. It would be the, the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? You're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. But yeah, if you can't just make up any old thing and think I'll make the papers, you gotta have backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah, you gotta have that. That's... What's it? News source. Um, you mean news source. That's it! So show me something that shows that you one guy had some... Miss I... With Miss Andrews. It's in the media. In terms of superstar and an ultra hot mega secret love scandal, reliable sources say that Juan Correa has been getting in close with the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the star, Miss AA. This is the article from the from a certain weekly tabloid. Jamming midnight rendezvous to the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the star, Miss AA. Mr. Correa didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, my Guard's manager, Adrian Andrews, she has seen those AA. You saw this article and then thought to take some pictures of them as proof. That's why you were looking around Mr. Correa's room door last night. Ah! You were looking into Mr. Pryda and Mrs. Andrews afar, weren't you? You got it! I was gonna give myself a scoop by catching him in a secret meeting. But there's already an article about it in one of the weekly tabloid magazines. It's no longer breaking news. What did- what'd you just say? Her initials are AA. What kind of fag thing is that? That ain't no proof of nothing. People are gonna wanna see real proof. Well, at least I do. So that's what I was doing. Getting photos. Oh. I'm gonna whip up the reader's interest with some gossip and, and a little misleading. And spice it up with a little with a, and have myself an exclusive story. Wow. Well, nice journalistic integrity you got there. I already finished writing up my spicy article, you know. But the paper I wrote it on. A note to myself, it's gone. Your note to yourself? It was inside the case of my $1,600 camera. They, they don't run off the gutter. I came here for my big story? Don't come here and ha to have my church disappear on me. Because I didn't come here to have my church disappear on me. Yeah, I understand. It's enough to make a gal go bonkers, I tell ya. What's with people now, anyway? I never thought I'd see the day when someone's done steal something from me. You really want that note back, huh? I've got no idea why, though. The scope you and that note is probably a bogus lie. It's not dated. Let's go back and check Gumshoe. Let's spend some time. Oh, we got something. Watch my first police department, criminals of first department. Detective Gumshoe said they had an investigation breed. Yeah. Oh, he's back! Hey, so you can, pal. Why the blunt greeting? Um, because there's nothing to be friendly or happy about. What do you mean by that? Well, things look perfect this time around. The evidence and testimony are airtight. But, but, we can't just roll over and die. We have to stay positive. Look at this. This must be the chief of the detectives here. It's clicked his computer screen. What? The Hero of Heroes Award Ceremony? The Grand Prize got away from the Jammy Ninja again? Should you be reading something more important? That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Freeze! Police! Everyone against the wall! Hans where I can see them. Hey, what are you doing? Don't you? Their hands, not yours! He must be doing my image training for a rest. 
Oh, it's kind of cute. And so Nick, what is this stuff animal name? That's the blue badger. That's my idea. I made it. It's this nice mascot, you know. Oh, wow. I'll get him a sign. I need mascots of every police station. If I, if it's the last thing I do. I hope you succeed in your mission, sir. Alright. So, what do you mean by the evidence is airtight? I can't give you all the details, pal. But there are two big pieces. Two? And both of them are in this photo. The first is the button that's missing from the victim's chest. Hmm. That's the button that you found during your body search on Mount on Guard. Yep. I found it in the fold of the Nickel Samurai Special Pants. Ugh. Uh, and the second one is... The knife in his chest, pal. The fingerprints on the knife in his chest to be a stacked. Fingerprints? Um, whose are they? You didn't even have... Yeah, it's a little messy. It's obvious. They're not on guards. Tomorrow's trial. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. What about this earth high testimony? It's that old security lady, Miss Obag. I thought so. What do you mean? You thought so. Did she tell you something, pal? Um, well... And I even told her not to open that big mouth of hers and blob to anyone. Her blob knock is stuck on ten. And there's no turning it down. Trust me. Yeah, well, Miss Obag saw it all, pal. She saw Mr. On Guard kill my with the victim's room around the estimated time of death. No way! We're pretty interested in this bit of gossip ourselves. A scandal with Miss Corrida? But why? Well, two years ago, a woman committed suicide. Suicide? Her name was Celeste Impasse. And she was John Corrida's manager. Victim's manager? That's not all, pal. This impacts was Miss Adrian Andrews' mentor. She told Miss Andrews everything she knew about the business from score one. Her mentor, a woman who was both Ms. Correia's manager and Miss Andrews' mentor. Did her suicide have something to do with this kiss? You want to know about her, pal? What kind of? What can you tell me about this guitar kiss? Oh, Don? That's just. This is just what I heard, pal, but that's the Jammin' Ninja signature item. But the guitar wasn't in his hotel room. Yeah, we looked for it too. It's not normal for a person to forget to bring their most fat, famous item to an award show. It's starting to sound like the, that red guitar is related to this kiss after all. The stuff in the glasses. The stuff in the glasses is symmetry, pal. You know choose. I heard the victim really loves that stuff. Favorite drink in the world! It was his favorite drink? First time I've heard that. She was the victim's manager and also Miss Adrian Andrews' mentor. It's been two years since her suicide, and neither of those two are linked together by another death. Or maybe it's just a coincidence, but. Arr! I'm getting sick of dealing with one foolish idiot after another. Miss Von Karma! You can't seem to stop allying yourself with the enemy, can you? I don't need a trailer in my mitts. You don't... You don't mean... I do. Scruffy? You have 30 minutes to get out of here. You are no longer needed. Bye. But that's... Wait! Please wait, sir! If I don't get this morning's pay, I'll... So Quiet! If it weren't for traitors like you... I would have won. Is that what you want to say? Who? Oh, the voice! Edgeworth! It's been a long time, right? But this person! 
This is Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, he's got a theme night, by the way. What am I going to do with you? Still blaming others when things go wrong. You haven't changed a bit, Francesca. You! How dare you show your face to me without a shred of shame upon it! He soiled upon Kara's name, dragged it through the mud! You even run away with your tail between your legs like the ill breed dog you are! Are you talking about the Von Karma family creed? To be perfect in every way? Then let's hear it, Francesca. How are things going? I hear you're having a rough time maintaining perfection in this country. Damn, Edward being salvage here. What a burn. Yeah. You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's why I came back. Back to back? Keep your assumptions to yourself. I I haven't given in yet. I won't lose. This kiss is mine. I'll never hand it over to you. Never. Is the thing's right? I will see you tomorrow. In court. It will be the clinical lesson on the meaning of total victory. <laughs> Still the same wild me mare she always had was. Gotta do it. I have no interest to Oh. Still stuck up beside her. Oh, wait now. We are, are looking into leads. We can only look into a few key players with our limited resources. There's no reason for us to waste our energy investigating this person. Why don't you just tell me? Why don't you just tell it to me straight and say I don't have any info? Alright. I thought you, the prosecutor Mouse Edgeworth, had gone and died. Mr. Nick? I... I never wanted to see you again. I think that's enough of a warm welcome for someone you haven't seen in a year. Are you going to run tomorrow's trial? You heard her, right? The wild mare hasn't given in yet, it seems. So, no, I don't think I'll be making an appearance. Your hatred for me is quite unhealthy, at the mention one-sided. But I will say one thing. You can't win on your own at the trial tomorrow. What's that supposed to mean? I have some... I have something definitive that you lack. And um, working together is the definition of teamwork. It's the power to find the truth. Truth. In order to understand this case, you must understand a certain truth. Well... If you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is available to you. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be... Be a bit more generous with information. Just what is going on inside his head? A lot of things have happened. I ever, my friend from Kara was still my mentor. And the perfect win record is proof of a fun karma. One year ago, you could not establish guilt in a few kids. And those losses, the re and you suddenly disappear from the prosecutor's office. Is it because you had lost your perfect record, win record? To think your motivation for prosecuting Charles was so selfish. Selfish. It'd be better for everyone if you came, if you never came back from the dead, Edgeworth. I see. Then let me ask you something. Why do you stand in the courtroom? What is your reason? Well, with Francesca, she almost always says, I will defeat you this time, the instant she sees me. But, the courtroom is not a personal battlefield for prosecutors and lawyers. I stand in the courtroom to defend my clan. Save their lives. Save your client, you say. 
Those who think only of their own ego-driven goals, those kind of prosecutors are reprehensible to me. Even if you are a prodigy, or someone like you, Edgeworth, it looks like there is still a lot you've yet to learn. A lot I have yet to learn? Me? Hmm. Well, that's enough for now. The time when you will see is coming soon enough. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure we need to go back. Ooh, the office. Nope. Edgeworth has information, right? He didn't present profiles that way. Or well, we wouldn't present his own. Better. <laughs> this woman is another key to solving this kiss. Do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrew's mentor a long time ago. But she was suddenly called away by a different show. I became Yuan Kareta's manager. And then... A few months later, Celeste Impasse died. But her death was ruled a suicide, right? Yes. But there is still one riddle we've yet to solve. A riddle? Her suicide note. It went missing. No one could find it. A suicide note that just vanished, huh? This Impasse death was most certainly a suicide. Of that, there is no mistake. However, we could not find her suicide note. That's when the police began to suspect that someone had taken it. I hit this heart. The suicide note? But how did you know Miss Impasse had ever written such a note? There was no solid evidence. However, we did find traces of ink on her right index finger. Which means the likelihood of, su of a suicide note is very high. But who would hide such a thing? The police it was, think it was Mr. Juan Correida himself. The victim? He was the one who found her body. Which makes him the only person who had the chance to hide her suicide note. Mr. Correida hid his own manager's suicide note. But why? As long as her note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. This is the suicide report. Part 1, anyway. Part 1? Suicide note, deceased Celeste Impasse, found by Joan Correa. Was her suicide note hidden? I don't like to, to look for reports. I like suicide reports even less. Worst of all are the reports that have multiple parts like that one. There has that has two. Two parts? Why don't what you handed me is the first part of the report. Here's the second part. The second part of the report is about an attempted suicide. The attempted suicide near It's Adrian Andrews? Miss Andres? What did she do? She... She tried to kill herself. She doesn't seem like the kind of person to try and kill herself, though. I think she's a strong career woman. That's just what she wants you to think. Adrian Andres. She has a certain secret she always trying to hide. A secret? Her dependent nature. That's what she really likes on the that Miss Andrews dependent? Look at what the exact opposite of what that woman is. I think we got all we can here. We haven't been here in a while though. March 21st, then she'll visit her room. Ah, oh, the lawyer dude! So what'd you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see.
Okay. But I or Yeah. But I already know. Sorry, I already told you everything I know, dude. Let's sit back here. Oh, that was God damn it, there was a new ping here. What's this about Miss Andre's depend having a dependent nature? Adrian Andre's attempted a suicide. It was a few days after the death of Celeste's impasse. And why did Adrian Andre's think about committing suicide? Because she had apparently lost her will to live. Lost her will? But why would she? Her pillar of strength, her mentor Celeste impasse, was gone forever. That's why. But why would that? Is that what they call following someone to the grave? After her attempted suicide, Adrian Andre started attending counseling sessions. She is someone who needs a person in whom she can. Abs she can trust absolutely. And once she finds that person, she'll do anything she can to keep them near. Without such an anchor in her life, her crippling anxiety stiffens her ability to live. Stripes her ability to live. St stifles her ability to live. Reading. Damn it. Nuts. That's the nature of her dependency on others. When Celeste and Hoss suddenly committed suicide, the world before her, her turned pitch black. It was pitch dark, sorry. Then, that's according to Adrian Andres herself. Then, that makes her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. She's only copying her mentor's behavior to hold herself together. Why terrible? Here we go. To attempt to suicide report. Attempt her Adrian Andrews. Reason is shock of Celeste's and past suicide. Now we're done. Whoops. Wrong place. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post ceremonial stage show to do. Hey, babe. Oh. Well, this was a side case. So, so it was... I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were lonely the entire time. My manager was running around being busy, yet, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show. I told you, dude. I had no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. What thing someone was was going to have to confess something? Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's why I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Karaya was already dead at the time. Okay. I'm home for a while now. Yeah, that's what I got her. Oh, anyway, from my manager. I'm beginning to get learn that this guy can't do a thing on his own. I'm not swimming the detective and the green coat showed up. He searched me and then, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. We well, didn't actually talk to him, actually. About you and the victim, Mr. Drew Corretto, what sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. I want them... Oh, we did... And then, yeah. I took the wrong pre-race sword. Oh, okay. okay. Dude. I think it'd be it. Oh, right, yeah, no. Never mind. Guess we do have a sidewalk to break then. March 21st, give our hotel, Ungard's hotel room. Oh, Miss Andrews is here! But it looks like she's talking with someone. That's. Francesca von Karma? Miss von Karma? What are you doing here? Um, well, see, I'm his lawyer, so 
You've got some nerve following him around. Following you? That's you, Miss Von Karma. You're the one doing the following. Pearls. You're always following after that detective with the little beard. Me? Following after Scruffy? Don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting, little girl. <laughs> what is that? An elo oh, an electromagnetic receipt electromagnetic receiver. I planted the I tried to fight some the detective. Oh not detective. I'm at this. I knew that he that fools every move. Dude, that noise we heard was this receiver. I feel really sorry for poor Detective Gumstream and I. Now then, let's stop wasting time. Adrian Andrews? Yes? <laughs> yeah, I think Carnival will be just discussed. Understood? Alright. What was she talking about? Miss Andrews, she seems a little dazed, doesn't she? Well, we have something to do. Oh. Well, for some reason I thought there was, uh, there was one that had five, but apparently I mistaked. Murder. Why must you and Corretta murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm? Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. Ungard's life in danger by your actions? Why do you ask questions for which I have no answer? The truth is, I was not that close to Ms. Corrida. You were not that close? That's right, I've never been good at being in with in another person. You're not good at being in, in the middle of another person. Somehow I highly doubt that. that. You and Mr. Corrida had an intimate relationship, did you not? A silly fur tabloid article? If you ever had half your wits about you, you, would, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Well, it seems quite a few people had already bought into the story. <laughs> As to be expected in a world filled with crooks and liars. Note to self. Stay on our good side. In any case, I despise interpersonal relationships like that. I see. However, what if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me? Need to get close to Mr. Corrida? As if there is ever there was ever such a need. Didn't you need the didn't you get close to Ms. Crida for this person's sake? Take that! Celeste Enpass, your mentor? How do you know about Celeste? Miss Enpass, she committed suicide, didn't she? But it looks like no one knows why. Right before her death, she was Juan Corrida's manager. So, I believe you got close to Mr. Corrida so you could find out more about her suicide. You have a great imagination. You may have a future yet as a slimy mud racker for a future fur red tabloid. Miss Andrews? There is no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you were completely at ease with the, with the way her suicide was solved. It's the other one. You can hold yourself. Huh? If you want to find some doing yourself in, I suggest asking someone like the police. Which translates to take a go take a long walk off a short pier. Oh, yeah, it was the other one. This Empire Suicide Note was never found, was it? 
It looks like the police were under the suspicion that someone had hidden it. Like maybe the person who discovered her body, Mr. Correta. John! I'm Mrs. Andrews. I believe you thought the same thing. That is why you became intimate with Mr. Correta. I sat back quietly and listened to your in insulting rambling long enough. It's true that Celeste was my mentor, since he was my mentor. However, allow me to say this again. It has nothing to do with me. I didn't know... I didn't even know that her suicide was never found. I'm a person who doesn't care about what goes on in, in the lives of others. That's the impression you like to give, however. I don't think that's who you really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that Celeste and past someone special for you but that, that this is proof that Celeste in past was someone very special to you it was the order maybe Miss Andrews you you nearly went through with it too didn't you went through with what ending your life Miss Andrews you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together you don't ask for anyone's help Relying only on yourself. Yes. I've been very independent since... Ever since I can remember. However... That is all just a lie. A facade. You've always searched out people on whom you can depend on. That's... You were dependent on this impasse, weren't you? Impact, weren't you? Which is why... When she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop! When Celeste passed away so suddenly like that, I died a death of my own. But, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report. The one that said the police suspected Mr. Crida of hiding Mr. Impact's notes. You heard about it. I thought to recover it from him by getting close, am I right? If that's the case, then everything changes. What do you mean? What topic did we start this conversation on again? It was, why was the victim killed? Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you have become the one with a with reason to want Mr. Korean dead. Me? This impacts was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit murder. Murder? It's true. I am a woman who can only live in insecurity. I wonder if it's is this part if this is going to use the music yet, or we have to wait a bit later for that. I'm physically small, and I don't really have a lot of self confidence. I pushed against all that, though. I've tried to live strongly. It is. I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. Miss Andrews. This one thing, it's the one thing I wanted to take with me to the, night, to the grave. It was my secret. Mine and mine alone. I, I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Please, Miss Andrews. All I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden her suicide note. And that someone was Yuan Korida. Celeste. Without her. Without her. I became scared. Everyone. Everyone seemed like. Like they were at to get me. So you got close to Mr. Korida to recover her suicide note, correct? Looks like that tabloid report is true. Off, the report, sorry, looks like the ta tabloid reported the truth after all. Ironic. Isn't it? Well, like they say, 
Where there's smoke, there's fire. If they purposely add fuel to the fire, they keep the celebrity world burning. But as for the suicide note, I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. It just doesn't suit me, that's all. Well, that's enough for now. I still have work to do, so... I understand. Oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted suicide. I'd like for you to keep it a secret. Miss Andrews! If, if people find out about my weakness, I, I would sooner choose to die than live. Uh, all right, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. Miss Andrews, I guess she still were thinking type. She's probably never. She'll probably never say anything without carefully thinking it through first. Thank you for your di discretion, Mr. Nick. Can I ask you something? What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hand since a little while back. That card? Yeah, I guess she has. Miss Andrews, what is that card you're holding? Huh? O oh, this? I don't quite know. It just suddenly appeared in my handbag. What is it? It looks like... A seashell? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I honestly don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. Her not remembering something clearly. Sounds like it was... Sorry, sounds like it would be a rare occasion. Current, sorry. The current. Well, I must be off. I leave this on guard in your capable hands. I don't think there's anything else we... Oh. March 21st, Skidwater Hotel, hallway. Well, I think we've got it about all we can. What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Oh, Pearls. She looks so worn out by all this. She hasn't slept at all. And has been walking all over the place with me today. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh, no! I'm okay. Really. I'm fine. I really am. You don't look fine to me. Let's just head back to the job. March 21st, right in cool office. So, what now? Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Mrs. Andrews has a motive. You mean Miss Empath's impact's suicide note? That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Ah! Mr. Nick! The transceiver! Hello? Right in cool office. Mr. Attorney, you're not answering the phone. Maya! Where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. Whew. Which is why I suppose she is absolutely famished. What? So I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. At any cost. Wouldn't you agree? Quit! Maya! Let me hear her! Very well. Ask my... Maya? Is that you? Sis! Ask my sis! Maya! Maya! Damn it! He cut me off! Just like Maya said, ask my sis, didn't he? Sis? What did she mean by that? Come on, Phoenix. <sighs> You're a hopeless one. Um, sorry? Arg! Mia? I have a message from Maya. So come. Ask me anything you want about her. You don't have it. Hi, Maya. She's safe. For now. That cab driver is one to keep us word, it seems. I'm glad to hear she's safe. But Mia, how did you know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. I read the note she left. 
Then I gather as much information about her surroundings as I could. I didn't know you could use spirit talent like that. Pretty smart of her. The cat mother! What's he like? I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to answer a phone call on at the hotel and was struck there. And she didn't see her, the face of her attacker. Urgh. Maya is locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her? Yet unknown. Time unknown. Location is also unknown. Eh, I'm starving. I could really go for some apple pie. I mean, at a time like this, sweets are the only way to go. I have to say positive. He promised he wasn't going to kill me. I'm not going to die. This. I wonder if you're with Nick right now. Huh? Someone dropped a card here. This kind of looks like a business card. But there's no name on it. Hmm, where have we seen this before? Hmm. It's a picture of a seashell. I think. What a strange card. There's all sorts of things piled up here. But it's too dark to see. What's this? It feels like there's a lot of glass bottles here. And these... They feel like barrels. I'll pass. I'm not really hungry and not really thirsty. Drat! It's locked. Hmm. This door lock seems easy enough to open. On TV, the hero will always use a plastic card or a stiff piece of cardboard. Then click! They magically open the door. I wonder if there's a card like this around here I could use. Ah! That's it! This shell card! I use this, maybe I can get the door open. This might be my key out of here. I had a feeling this card might be useful. I'm such a genius. Alright, now if you excuse me, Mr. Kipnopper. I did it! Okay, now I'm getting the heck out of here. I shouldn't keep Nick waiting or worried. And yeah, that's it. We'll be moving into the trial section now, finally. And that'll be it. So I'm going to wrap up here. We'll be back on this Wednesday and we the trial. And this is going to, like I said, settle up. This is going to be a ride and a half. I'll see you all next time. See you later. It was a good day. It was a good week. I'll see you next time. Bye.